Hi, welcome to my home. We're all staying at home. I thought, why don't I show you some of the things that I'm cooking at home? So I have one of the simplest pasta recipes today, and this is really one of my favorites. It's a very simple tomato sauce. It was taught to me by Marcella Hazan. So it's her classic tomato, her Tuscan tomato sauce, a little olive oil in a pan. I have some beautiful San Marzano tomatoes, which I crushed by hand. You can buy crushed tomatoes, you can buy them whole plump tomatoes and crush them by hand, but San Marzano tomatoes from Italy are just delicious. And really canned tomatoes are the way to a great tomato sauce. A little olive oil in the pan and the tomatoes go right in. You can put them in a blender beforehand if you want to. I don't, I let them cook. And the whole cooking process is gonna take all of about 30 minutes. So what we'll do is we'll get this started, and then as the tomatoes cook, uh, we'll take a break, we'll come back to the finished tomato sauce, we'll cook our pasta, and we'll finish our, our dish. So this is tomatoes and olive oil, and this is a whole onion. So when you cut the onion, be careful not to cut the ends off, just cut the ends carefully so the onion doesn't open and fall apart, because this is one of really Marcella's secrets and it's kind of become my secret. I've been doing this for years. The whole tomato goes into the tomato sauce and it stays whole and it leaves behind its beautiful flavor without falling apart and being in the sauce. So we're gonna let that cook. Let's add some salt to that now. I don't put sugar in my tomato sauce. If they're good San Marzano tomatoes, you don't need sugar. A little bit of salt, a little grind of fresh black pepper, it's already starting to bubble away. I took the can and I took half a can, this is the can that the tomatoes came in, half a can of water. And that's all there is to this sauce. At the end, we'll finish it with a little Tuscan style finish, a little bit of butter at the end and some Parmesan cheese. It'll be great. And there it is. There's my whole onion right in the tomato sauce and we'll let that cook together. Okay, we're back and my tomato sauce is really, really beautiful. So it's cooked for about 30 minutes with an onion, a whole onion. I'm gonna turn that off. Now I'm gonna make a pasta. So here's my pasta water, salt. Don't be stingy with the salt. You wanna make that water really saline you really want that and now i'm going to add some pasta i'm cooking for one here so i'm just going to put in a cup of really nice imported dried pasta i'll add a, a couple more because i i like pasta all right now that's going to take about that's going to take about seven minutes to cook let's give that a stir let's set a timer and we're good to go. We'll be right back. All right, so my pasta just took a minute more than I thought it would. Just follow whatever package directions you have. Dry pasta can take seven, nine, 11 it, it, minutes. It depends on, on the manufacturer, what kind of wheat they use. So that's ready. And I just wanna do a quick immersion blender on my tomato sauce. This is all ready to go. That was just 30 minutes of cooking time. You don't have to do this. You can do it nice and chunky if you want. I'm just doing a little quick blend this way, right here in the, in the pot. I like that. Okay, the onion is still in there. I didn't touch the onion. I didn't grate that up at all. And my pan is ready. So I'm gonna take a little bit. My pasta is cooked. Here, take a look at my pasta. All right. I'm going to take a little bit of my tomato sauce right into a pan and I'm going to go right from my pasta water right into the tomato sauce and really a little bit of that pasta water in the tomato sauce is exactly what you want it to do and, and guess what, it all cooks a little longer right here so I tend to undercook my dry pasta enough, I undercook it enough so that I can 
have another minute or two in this pan to further cook it and finish cooking it. And that's all there is to it. You want to use a colander, you can do that. Let's just get a little bit of that. Okay. We're going to bring the heat up a little bit more on that. And that's all there is to it. This is a beautiful pasta. You make the sauce yourself. You'll see it's so much better. If you want to add a little cheese to this dish as it's right here in the pan, you can do that. And the final touch on this is just a little bit of butter. That's kind of Tuscan style. In the south of Italy, we use olive oil, but we do finish the pasta with a little olive oil or butter. And I try not to over sauce it. We don't want it too, you don't want it too wet. You see what I mean? Not over sauced at all. Nice and cooked. And let's get it into a dish. Turn that off. A little Parmesan cheese. One dish of pasta, ready to go. Enjoy.